Welcome to this mind mapper tutorial from biggerplate.com. In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to add boundaries into your mind maps to highlight certain branches or groups of information. Adding boundaries into your mind maps is very simple using the main menu in the mind mapper software. We need to select the topic on which we want to build the boundary and then come up here into the main menu right along here to boundary. Now you see here you've got a selection of different shapes, but also you'll see within each one you've got a different shape of line. So we can choose from here any different sort of shapes and sizes of boundary with different uh, line styles around it, adding very quickly the boundary into our mind map. Now if we want to personalize and format that boundary a little bit more specifically, we just need to then click onto the boundary itself with our left mouse. And then what you see happens in this main menu is we get what we can call a contextual menu, where the options you see here are all related to the boundary. So from here we can do different things like change the fill color of the boundary, the line color that goes around the boundary, or of course if we want to go back to change some of those shape options we can from the lines to the shape of the boundary itself all giving us lots of ways to personalize that boundary style. So you can get there by the left click and then looking up into the main menu, but it's worth also mentioning if you click the boundary and then right click, you're gonna have some options to format the boundary, popping open this menu, which again, you can just make the changes, see how they look, see if you like them, and then decide what you want to keep. Very simple ways to format the boundary as you need to make that information stand out as you wish. If you want to remove the boundary from your mind map, again, all we need to do is click the boundary itself and then come back up here to this main menu that's gone into this contextual menu and just look here for this option that says remove. And that's how we can add, format and remove boundaries in our mind mapper maps. Hope you found this short tutorial useful. Don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube. For more resources to help you go further with mind mapping, visit biggerplate.com.